On February 11, the Catholic Church commemorates the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes, a significant day that marks the miraculous apparitions of the Virgin Mary in the quaint town of Lourdes, France. The story unfolds in 1858 when a young peasant girl experienced a series of visions that would forever transform the small town and inspire millions around the world. The apparitions began on February 11, 1858, when 14-year-old Bernadette Subiris witnessed a heavenly figure in the grotto of Massabiel. Over a span of 18 apparitions, the lady identified herself as the Immaculate Conception. This declaration held profound significance in the Catholic faith, as it affirmed the doctrine of the Immaculate Conception, which had been officially defined by the Church just a few years earlier in 1854. The Lady urged Bernadette to pray and make sacrifices for sinners, emphasizing the need for repentance and spiritual devotion. The Sanctuary of Our Lady of Lourdes now stands as a pilgrimage site and a testament to faith and healing. The grotto, where the apparitions occurred, attracts millions of pilgrims each year, seeking solace, spiritual renewal, and physical healing. The waters that flow from the spring at the grotto are believed by many to possess miraculous healing properties. Although thousands of miracles have been reported there, the Catholic Church has approved only 70 of them after stringent scrutiny, which has been her policy on approving miracles, setting aside all sensational values. St. Bernadette Subiris, canonized in 1933, remains a central figure in this divine narrative. Despite having to battle against skepticism and hardships, her unwavering devotion and humility have inspired generations of believers. Her incorruptible body rests in the chapel of St. Bernadette within the sanctuary. The Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes is not merely a celebration, but a reminder of the enduring connection between the earthly and the divine. The Holy Virgin's message conveyed through Bernadette encourages all to perceive our life on earth as a pilgrimage towards our ultimate homeland, heaven, as we honor the memory of the miraculous apparitions and the enduring legacy of St. Bernadette. Let us heed the call of our Holy Mother to prayer, penance, and pilgrimage, embracing the path towards eternal communion with God.